see. I'm gonna go exchange the Alma Bibi for the Neo Noe. Noe Neo. Neo Noe. Um, I've never tried it on, so I'm hoping that when I try it on, I'll love it because I don't have any big ish bags. My biggest bag is the Speedy 25, and I just want something I can just throw stuff in, you know, like easily. So, um, the Alma, Alma, <laughs> the Alma BB was not it. The opening was so small, it was scratching my hand. I was not into it. So, um, and it's weird because I wanted it for so long, but I just, I haven't seen it in person before I bought it. So that was a mistake. So we're gonna see if I can exchange it. I'm so excited. I hope I can exchange it. It's only a small price difference, which I'm willing to pay because it's bigger and it's pink. I'm really nervous because today, um, February 24th is the first day that the Neo Noe has um, been released and I called this morning and they said that they got a shipment in so I'm hoping they still have some. I know, I mean, it's not like handbags that price, just run out like hotcakes, you know? But um, that LV group makes me feel like uh, it's gonna run out like hotcakes on Facebook. So, please be there. I just got back from the Louis Vuitton store and they had the Noe in stock in the pink color. They had a lot. So um, I'm sure if you guys want it, it's going to be available and that's, it like really sells out. And the sales associate was like, this isn't even on the website yet. How do you know about it? And I told her the Louis Vuitton group on Facebook is popping. Like if you need any news, you go on there and all the ladies there know what's happening, know all the new details. I love it. This is the bag I'm currently using with all the charms on it. I love her. I still love her. And the reason, I'm just gonna do a why I got it. So the reason I got the new Noe was because I wanted a shoulder bag that was big. Like all my bags are about this size and I can't fit anything in it. Or like as much as I want in it. Sometimes I want to carry a jacket for Caden, or like water bottle, or snacks, or extra clothes for him if we're going somewhere that needs it, or stuff like that, and it doesn't fit. And that really frustrates me sometimes, like I even want to carry an umbrella and I can't. So that's what I want. I wanted something that I can carry my stuff in, and it has two dividers that I'll show you later. And I wanted to divide one section for Caden and one for me. So I'm really excited about this bag. I tried it on and I instantly fell in love. Hi everyone. I have been kind of documenting my process of getting this Louis Vuitton bag today. So I'm gonna unbox it now. I'm so excited. So, okay. I don't even know if I can fit this. Look at this giant bag. Like, humongo. Nobody needs a bag that big. I will show you what is in this beauty. Um, this is the packaging it came in. I've actually grown really fond of the new like orange packaging. I find like the magnetic closures so nice and I actually now prefer a lot over the brown packaging like the old one and I didn't think that I would but I do. So it's called the Neo Noe Monogram in Rose Pudra. Um, it retails for $1,390. Ow. Personally, I view bags as like pieces of art and they're just what I like. I love them so much. I researched the crap out of them, though I couldn't research this bag, so that's why I thought I would do this video because there was nothing on it, obviously. It just came out today, February 24th, so I thought I'd pick it up and, um, you know, show people. And I tried it on store and I absolutely loved it. There are a few things that I'm not sure about, but I will see if it can like work. I put out some stuff that I'm gonna try to pack in here. So yeah, let's do this. Okay. I mean, let me do this. I love when people do this. <laughs> Ribbons off. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is how big it is in this box. Let me take it out. Okay, I'm gonna put this down now. This is what it looks like. Oh 
my god. So the weird thing is, I have been researching like bigger tote bags, bigger hobos. I don't like tote bags because the strap is too short for my liking. Like I like it to hang a little lower. And hobos are just... The melly and stuff is just too big for me. I also tried that on in store. But that was just way too big. I was looking at the Petite Noe and I fell in love. And I showed my sister and she was kind of iffy about it. And I was iffy about the amount of Vaquetta on that handbag. It was like the bottom was um, Vaquetta and the strap and everything. All like the little linings and piping was Vaquetta. And that would mean that I can't take it out in the rain. I wanted a weatherproof bag or like wipeable basically. But I mean, it's not weatherproof because the top is just open like this is how you open the bag you just pull on the pulley here which is really nice because on my boss for backpack you don't have that so i pulled it down and now i'm gonna open and inside there are there's just a divider and this is what worries me about this bag because this is tiny <laughs> oh my god it has that smell so there's These called air bubbles. Something in the air bubble. Oh, the tag. Okay, so. Oh, this is the tag. That is the tag of this bag. And let's see what else. I know it came with this too. And in the middle zipper pocket, I'm pulling out. I guess this is their new care booklet. And I've never got one of these. Cool. And then this is the strap. The strap is the coolest part, guys. Let me show you. So I'm gonna put it on. I mean, the engineering on this strap is great for a handbag. It is so cute. So it's like this, a very long, longer strap. Let, let me get the ruler. Here's the strap drop, approximately. 13 inches, a 13 inch strap drop, which is great, like compared to the Neverfull and stuff. And then you unclasp the sides. And then you pull these two little things up, like they pull up. So cool. And then you can basically kind of make it, it's just gonna fall up here. And I guess that you can snap it up here. And then it's a really long crossbody. But I will say the crossbody on this is really long. I plan on using it um, shoulder style. Let me put it back. It's just so cool. I'm so into this. And yeah, let me put it back. The leather is just so soft on this, guys. I also wanted to do a size comparison. The height of this bag is 10 inches. The width is about 10, but it kind of tapers up. And then the depth is about 6 inches. So it's a pretty sizable bag. Let me compare it to my other bag for you. So this is the Noe. This is the Speedy 25 Bandolier. The Speedy is a tad bigger than this. And then I have my trusty Push Out Matisse, which is the same height, but the depth, obviously. This is double, basically, of the Push Out Matisse. And what I really wanted was just a bucket bag. I wanted, you know, just reach in and get out. You don't have to fuss with, not that this is fussy, I just don't want to do this all the time. So inside is this beautiful pink suede. I'm really excited about it. Let me show you this pocket. Like, I can't really fit my hand in there. I mean, my entire hand goes in, but it kind of scratches me, which is why the Alma BB was um, returned. So yeah, let's pack her up and see what fits in here compared to my push up Matisse. This is a bag up close. Here I have my phone. I have glasses case. I have portable charger. I have wallet. I have a mini pochette with all my random stuff in it. I have a small camera. 
I have my key pouch. I have an iPad mini in here. I have a pull up. I can probably add another one if I wanted. I have a wipes case and I have a small water bottle. I mean, this could fit everything and it's just so, so cute. So I did want to show you guys what it looks like on at home. This is the bag as a shoulder style. I can just like comfortably do this. It's not weird. I really like it. This is it like just hanging right there. Crossbody um, hangs a lot better actually. I, I like it more. I mean it's still like low. I am 5 foot 3 and it just hangs like past my hips which I don't love. So I'm going to try it with the push-up Matisse strap and then show you that. So it was feeling really long on my longest, like on my usual setting for the push-up Matisse. So I put it on the shortest as you can see, but it's still really long. I mean, I think I like this better. And if I were to do crossbody, that hangs a lot better. That hangs just where I like it to hang. I mean, it just kind of looks like like this profile is kind of like a speedy profile. So, I like it. I would wear it like this. If I were to wear it with this strap. If I want to crossbody it, I would definitely use this strap because this just hangs better on me as a short person. But if you're taller, I mean, the other one would be perfect for you. I think my first impression of the Neo Noe is coming to an end. I really think I'm going to love this bag. Let me know if you have any other videos you want me to film. I'd be happy to do that. I'm trying to do a whole channel now because this is just what I love. What I love to talk about, what I love to watch, what I love to listen to. It's just relaxing to me and this is like my happy place with the internet. And yeah, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up or comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I will be back again.